Hey, what's up everyone, Ultimate Atomic HD here, and today I'm continuing the let's play of Persona 5 Strikers for the PS4. Last time we secured the route to all the desires that Alice had stolen, and now we are going to be fulfilling for the first time a prerequisite that differentiates the jails from standard palaces, and that is we have to find a secret... Um, a, a secret room where yeah go to destination it's kind of like send a calling card here it has its own button but yeah uh, each monarch has a why are you not auto uh, a repressed memory from their past that they would really like to forget and basically hidden within that memory is the key to unlock the final room where we get to uh, face off against the monarch and take back all the desires. And for Alice, it's in Shujin Academy, and as we learned in the previous episode, she was uh, an, att an attendee of the Shujin Academy before. Perhaps so, yeah. Here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such a wound. However, she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <laughs> well, we should get moving. What's next? And yeah, we'll 100% for sure be finishing off Alice's jail and this episode Let's try it. because once we clear this room we'll go straight for the boss fight with the monarch Wonderland. Successfully entered. Beginning navigation. and it works like it's supposed to Ah, the good old classroom. Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. Yeah, internet makes everything prettier, am I right? Hey, look! A ghost! There goes Makoto with her. Yeah, Makoto kind of reminds me of Asuna in that uh, aspect. That's not cool. Shut up, phone. And this mean looking shadow is what we call a warden. And yeah, for each monarch we will have to defeat one of these before we actually get to steal back the desires from the monarch. Yep, it kinda looks like the Mementos Palace. Alright, I am looking sharp. What are you weak to? You're weak to curse and gun! And we're already done! That's how awesome I am! Hello there, Mr. Locke! Oh yeah, I kind of want to talk over this because in my uh, episode 3, yeah, in episode 3, when this song played, a copyright claim uh, popped up and I had to file this. I'll probably 
win the dispute in my favor because back in my Persona 5 Royale Let's Play, I also uh, had three copyright uh, claims on my video. So, like the first episode, uh, the episode where I take down Yaldabaoth, and no, the episode where I first face off against the Holy Grail, not the other vault yet. That's the ep episode after that. Okay, the music stopped. And uh, which uh, there was another one where uh, where while where life was changed was also copyright claim. Yeah, but but basically I filed all these three copyright disputes and I basically they basically released them immediately. So I should probably expect the same thing for this. So yeah. I hope my talking over the song has uh, prevented another copyright claim from appearing, so yeah. Now I've memorized some songs which actually have the potential to get copyright spike. But yeah, now in Alice is Jail the lock has been... Oh my god, Sophia's so cute! So yeah, the lock has been disengaged and now we can go after the monarch. Yeah, let's do that. We might actually get to have some progress in the next jail if I am correct. Oh, or at least move to the location where the next jail is. Yeah, because unlike the Persona 5 Royale, the previous game, we actually get to travel around here, travel around the country. So, what'll happen to Alice then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the lock. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? We do, like we've always done up until this point. Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but... You guys are all up for it. We want to rescue Alice too. Not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it. Because of all the bullying in her past. I mean... Yeah, I kind of feel for Alice in that aspect. In the secret room? I honestly do. An invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma is the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to Palace Generation. I've got to say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but... I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Well, that's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. 
we can't just abandon Alice. And that'll be us, the righteous phantom thieves. Don't speak too soon. I'm really gonna lay into her for all this. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here, either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. It's all yours. Thanks. It'll be great. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan. Tapas plans are always great, just to see. Yay, one point. Alright, let's send the calling card. I am ready to do this, as always. And as for how we will be sending the calling card, Oh well, we'll be remembering uh, one of the best deliveries of a calling card yet and simply repeating it. Yep, we're sending a calling card like we did with Shido. Take notes, Zenkichi. And that people have to be stopped. And all those desires are still. Tonight, we're taking them all back. There we go. That's how you send a calling card. Okay, next I'm scheduled at 9 o'clock. Okay, manager. Hello? Oh, this is bad, Miss House. Look at the email I forwarded you. Indeed. Yeah, you do that. Well, you can try, but you won't succeed. Come on, come on! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's do this. Let's take on this heist. Let's go. Yeah, 13 minutes in. Almost 14. But yeah, we can do this. Let's go! Let's go. Should have saved up beforehand, but there will be other opportunities. Not, not sure. I missed it, but I don't need it anyway. That much at least. And yeah, life is ch life will change, indeed. Okay. Indeed, is it? Oh, look at all the balloons. That's really neat. Really nice. Okay, up there. Not not that way. Oh, am I supposed to wait? Where am I supposed to go anyway? Up here.
Wait, I'm confused. Where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to go toward toward the cable. Nope. The here. There we go, finally! I knew I was going the right way. Here we are. That's a big old heart. Big crystal heart. With materialized desires. I was worried our standard palace procedures wouldn't work. But they do. Whoop de doo. Uh no. Look at the size of that thing. Uh, what do we do now? I have to steal something like that. I admit. Uh bit by bit, I wanna say. Or you shrink it down just like Kamoshida's crown. It's her. Indeed. Alice. So it's a fight after all. Oh dear. You thought you could just sneak in like that. And what exactly do you plan on doing with those desires? Hey you! Joker, right? You come back to me so you can be mine? Uh, quite the opposite, actually. by force and turn them into your puppets. You toyed with people's emotions and made them mistreat one another. You even opened up stores so you could build all the people you brainwashed. We can no longer overlook the wicked changes apart you forced on the people. The phantom thieves are about to beat the distortion out of you. The Kamaki song, you're so beautiful. Thank you, but that's not the time for compliments. We're the Phantom no. Thieves, we're supposed that's our job to know everything and infiltrate every single nook nook and cranny of the world. Oh, okay. You found out. No matter how much I hide it, the past still comes back to me. How pathetic! What a mess! What does it matter now? With this power, I can have everything. Everything I've always wanted. Just like with Sai and Ijima's shadow form, I actually preferred her op original form and not this. Eh, we won't be seeing it for long. Yeah, literally, I, I will be taking her down with On. Okay, let's go on to that blazing hell. Nice, all out attack. And there we go. Literally. That's it for the boss fight. No, no alternate phases or anything. We are done. Oh, I have one of these. That was very fast, and we get to see this much better looking shadow form. No! How can I still not be strong enough? Why can't I change? I'm not the victim anymore! Enough, Alice. If you keep going, you'll just make yourself feel even worse. Oh, no! 
Indeed, Panther suffered as well. I just can't compare to someone like you, Takamaki-san. There's always someone you can relate to. I'm no match for the real winners. Uh. I tried so hard to change, but I was still made fun of, still bullied. I just wanted to stop being miserable. I poured my heart into fashion and worked to get so far. But then... She showed up again and started running her mouth about my past. She told everyone what a pathetic little shit I was. <sighs> That's why I took all of it from her. Her boyfriend, her social circle, everything. And that still wasn't enough for me. It wasn't just her. Everyone that talked behind my back, all the people who just stood there when I was kidding. I'll destroy every single one of them! Alice... So this is a... Could someone please give her a hug? <laughs> they won't, spoiler alert, but... I would give her a hug. Because I really relate to her. What good does that do? How you're just as bad as the people who made you suffer. Is that how you want to live? Like, what if those bullies? Didn't you want to be something else? A ray of light for others. And for yourself. <sighs> Don't give up because of those selfish bastards! Uh, Takamaki-san. You're right. I wanted to rescue them. All of the people like me. Going through the same thing. But you ended up doing the opposite thing. You think so? Of course. Thank you for a beautiful shiny crown. I I want to apologize to the people I hurt and start over. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can turn it around. I've been through a lot of the same things, but thanks to my best friend and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand up for myself and do the right thing. You're never alone. Once you're back to your real self, let's be friends, okay? You wanna be... really? Uh-huh. I mean, I totally love Alice. <laughs> we even share the same dream. <sighs> This isn't the standard jail collapsing procedure that we've seen in the previous game. This is just the desires returning to their respective owners. And yeah, another thing that differentiates uh, jails and palaces... Uh, jails do not disappear after you clear it of its monarch. You can actually go back to each jail and explore it uh, the further we get uh, through the story. And this is used for stuff like side missions, which I'm not going to be focusing on in this Let's Play. I'll most likely be doing most of them, if not all of them, off screen. Because they, they're really not story relevant and they're basically reskins of each other. Actually, there's one exception which I'll do in the very last episode of the Let's Play, which I'll be showing off how to unlock the new game plus, because it's actually not that simple as simply uh, beating the game and then you have new game plus. You actually have to complete certain procedures to get it unlocked. So, yeah. And yeah. Not yep, like I said earlier. And yeah, the 
since we have these side missions in previous and future jails, uh, this game does not have mementos. So yeah, because there's absolutely no need for it since the non-disappearing jails are fulfilling its purpose. So if the monarch is toppled and the desires are all returned, the jail still doesn't collapse? It would appear that palaces are different from this jail after all. There's a chance we haven't actually resolved the issue yet. I wonder how Alice will react to this. Could we find out when we get back to the real world? It'd be nice if she could recall what happened here. But no one shares memories with their shadows. Think she might talk to Panther? Huh? Me? Yeah, you offered to be her friend. Really it's the natural she thing to do. say that she loves her. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was worth going that far for her to come to her senses. Alice really is a one-of-a-kind talent. And her dream is definitely something worth fighting for. I just hope she can remember how that dream first made her feel. So she can bring that feeling to the people who need it. That's right. Yep. <laughs> and I'm gonna try my best to do the same. Yeah, we still have plenty of time left in the recording. Around oh, 20 so minutes. Good. Just as the Phantom Beast predicted, Alice and Robbie appeared to change her logic. This would not be possible had we simply defeated her. How did you predict the outcome? Based on experience. Being able to change is what makes someone human. Someone is human because they can And being change. unable to change someone makes someone a what? Isn't it? Just when a wildebeest? <laughs> I just, I just uh, said this first animal that popped into my mind. Yourself, so be my dear. No, I'm Sophie, humanity's companion, right? We get it. You got it, Sophie. <laughs> 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 bond points? Oh, yeah. Well, what do you say we have now? I'd like to check on the real world. Oh, no, the, the I can feel the strong bond, bond with my friends is supposed to be when you unlock a new upgrade. Uh, to be uh, for purchase in the in the bond shop. Since I unlocked every single thing, it, these these uh, cutscene dialogues don't do anything now. All right. Hey. Yes. Bond was very angry with Shadow Alice earlier. By the end, though, she appeared happy. Why is that? Wasn't she angry at Alice? Okay. Anger is not just for hurting people. It is also able to save people. Yep. That's Except how that most of the time it goes. To show them the error of their ways. The human heart is such a mystery. Yeah, I can certainly agree to that. <laughs> Thank you. I hope to learn more from you. And I and I will be glad to be your teacher and I'd like to learn more from you as well. Alright. Why is it offering me to save up here? When it does that, you usually are in for a lengthy cutscene session where you're unable to save. Okay, certain TV studio. And now for the hottest meet and greet. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Yes. A change of heart. I confess something. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts. That was all my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during the live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. Well, Miss Alice, they're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um, is this... Is this a prank or something? All of my past no, Filthy Frank so isn't here, so it definitely I isn't a prank. And, and I'd assault them until they back down. The only reason 
person I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you... Is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied and I've... It hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this... The, the Phantom Thieves? I'm the oh, one yeah. in it all. No one but Feel free to promote us, Alice. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut! Cut! Right now! Cut the standby! Alice. Man, these TV guys are so paranoid. That news lady even name checked the Phantom Thieves. Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Right. We may have gone through something quite different from the palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. The people with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. You're welcome. I want my money back. Well, you sure can't help him there. I'm not sure everyone's actually a victim here. Nevertheless, mission complete. I wonder what'll happen to Alice next. It's probably next to impossible for her to make it in the industry now. Her scandal is big news. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still be a ray of light for others. Even if she has to find another way to shine. That reminds me. We should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Ah, jeez, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. An enlightening conversation as always in here. Fret not, the cavalry in form of Zenkichi Hasegawa has arrived yet again. How's it hanging, folks? Aw, you again, Gramps? <laughs> Take note of that Gramps thing, it's gonna be a common nickname for this guy. I might even call him Gramps on occasion. Who knows, let's see throughout the Let's Play. To what are you referring? Don't play stupid. I gave you solid intel, yeah? Yes, but that's... Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. Your own what? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as running some questions by Alice for you. Say what now? Just saying you wanted info from her, right? Yeah, That's we do. Accurate. But Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Oh, it is far from closed. This change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country. And we know they can't all be Alice's victims. Therefore, you still have plenty to get pinned on you, don't you? Not only that... Yep, Alice is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more going on. More than ever. These change of heart cases have to be the Phantom Thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. Do you really not realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? What bullshit! What the hell did we do? Calm down! Why do you think I offered you that deal? If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. The reason I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. Yeah. As in the person controlling Alice behind the scenes. The MO in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves ideology. The motives also appear very different. These are two separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. So yeah, you can pretty much see how the Phantom Thieves are going to end up traveling, uh, traveling the country like I mentioned earlier. We're gonna be on an investigation spree. 
and Alice's confession would clear our names. Damn it. So they really weren't just trolling. What is it? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there. Similar to what we've seen so far. Almost none of them made the news, and it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it. But... What Gramps is saying is probably not bullshit after all. What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. Do you think there could be more monarchs out there too? What would we yep, it's only the beginning of our adventure yeah, after all. Along with that man, be a viable option. Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? What other choice do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. What do you say? Well, yeah, let's make the deal, but plus, a certain someone's sister is on the similar position, so... Even if we do I guess it's things, okay? How would we explain it? If he's going to understand what we've been doing, we'll have to learn about the metaverse. Do you think he'll even believe us? He'll believe us if we show him. Otherwise, it's our leader on the line. The jail! How do you think we're gonna get some thick-headed cop to buy that? <sighs> we show him! It seems our only choice is to take him to the jail. There you go. Wait, really? Mako-chan! Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have one playable card in our hand. We just have to go along with it for the time being. We'll do it. It's not like we have any alternative. Let's hope it's not our undoing. Yeah, I hope that too. Stay prepared. The worst case. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. And that place is the jail, where everything goes down in this world. A jail full of shadows, with monarchs seizing desires, was it? Alright. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? If you're gonna cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time? Just save it for now. You look, look, if you wanna work with us, you gotta believe us. Is that cool? Huh? Where to exactly? We won't be doing any combat here, it'll just uh, be a little cutscene and that's it. So are you gonna answer me or... It's Chibuya in the metaverse. This is real. Every oh, it is. Here is real. Every last bit you can see. Whoa, what happened? What are those outfits for? Yep, just about what I expected. This is our Phantom Thief attire. <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? Uh, the jail. You gotta jail. listen to the details, man. Within a jail. Wait. The AI from my phone and humanity's companion. How could I forget? Chill out, Zenkiji. You gotta keep yourself together. Says the talking cat. Right. I can't be losing my shit like Monster Cat. I am not a monster cat. I am Morgana. Do you finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? I must have been a freak last night. This just happened to be dream. I'm still passed out. You're holding up there, Grants? No need to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. Uh, that still sounds rather worrisome. <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. Alright, let's head back and... 
will we be going off to our next destination then? Right now? All right, approaching 40 minutes of recording. Uh, this. What's happened to me? Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? No, you didn't. But you're cracking the case. You're doing a very good job. His brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Oh, why did we even bother explaining it all beforehand? Because we are good citizens and good phantom thieves who want to help out everyone in need. Get a hold of yourself, Grant. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zenkichi. Huh? Oh, right. Right. Get it together. This cat said my name! Wait, are you that monster cat in that place? It's the monster cat! Okay, it's a normal cat right? now. Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now, too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it? <laughs> That's really something! <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. But, I'm going to strive to understand. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. Indeed! So, you already know how all this works. Alright, alright. Your trust is repaid with mine. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. That's my vow. Then it's a deal. Good. I look forward to working together. In that case, I'm going to cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. Precisely. But it's actually not, not gonna be the next monarch we tackle, since we're going to make a stop to another city before getting to Sapporo. Uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. You're gonna want to either drive or hoof it. Why is that? You revived the Phantom Thieves' deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. Yeah, if this were the metaverse, our solution would be the Mona Van. Oh, by the way, Morgana can actually transform into the Mona Van when performing his combos. I'll probably show it off when I get to play as Morgana down the road. I'll most likely be playing as Yusuke for the next jail. I plan to show off every character, well, all of them which I can show off. Since I can't actually exactly play as Futaba. Crazy. This is real, Zakichi. Yeah, give yourself a nice pep talk, Gramps. Hey, I called him Gramps for the first time. Okay, 44 minutes almost into the recording. And what now? Another cut? Yeah, another cutscene. Yeah. We're entering Life is Strange territory in terms of cutscene length again. Actually, which cutscenes are longer? Metal Gear Solid or the Life is Strange series? I played two Life is Strange games, but I barely played any of the Metal Gear Solid games, so I'm not uh, quite familiar with that cutscene length. The case will still be our primary objective. But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Yeah, we'll go sightseeing on our journey. Don't don't you worry. We'll do some cooking, camping. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yep, Phantom uh, Phantom Road Trip time. Indeed. 
piece is closed. That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trick. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary act at first, but now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. It's like the meta app. Yeah, totally the same thing. Totally. To think something like that is totally for so real, so same high. thing. That sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? We've all registered as friends on it. Maybe, but not necessarily. There are still some sane people left in the world, you know? It's run by a Japanese company called Medis. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's quite the large-scale operation. With those numbers, we have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil mega-corporation making jails or something? But we can't use them. No, imagine if they're like mass-producing them. No, that's not the case exactly, as we'll see later on, but... Could you imagine something like that in the real life? Both here and real life, of course. What makes you say that? Uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. It is a possibility. An endless possibility. Okay, I'll stop. I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. Really? We should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. Oh yeah, this is gonna be become become a running trend in the game, like confiscating the monarch's phones after they've been dealt with. And, and we'll have a phone collection. Are the manifestations of their ruler's cognition. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. Not as bad as mental shutdowns or psychotic breakdowns, but close enough. If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart... Okay, can you give me a brief pause so I can split the recording? There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. Okay, I'll do it now. Okay, I'm back. So, we're working with the police to try and clear our names, but... But what? Is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone if stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over? Aren't we the only ones who can stop it? That's we right. are, and we will stop it. Right. Yes. It's Again, since this game is not as long as the previous game, it's half the... It's exactly half the length of the previous game. And if you're only looking at pure gameplay, it's even shorter. I, again, I'm telling you, if you skip all the cutscenes on your New Game Plus run, when if you're not let's playing it like me, you'll clear it in two days. Exactly two days it will take you to clear everything from start to finish. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way? But how do we actually find it? About 10 hours, I think. Maybe a little bit more, but around 10 hours it should take you without uh, the story stuff to clear the game. It'll only take us about a million years. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. What kind of show is that? I want to watch. I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. <laughs> okay. How do you smell a jail? Is it smelly? Or are you like Wolverine where you just use your nose nose like crazy? I, lo I love that praise accepted hum. But at least we now have a course of action. Yeah, this is gonna be... A trick to reform all of society. Okay, maybe not all of society, but all the problematic parts of society. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? We'll just have to rent something. Oh no, but it'll cost us. Money is no object to us. The prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. <laughs> Futaba scorching, like she usually does. Uh, yeah, sometimes I get to like Yusuke too, even when 
like the money is a bit tight, you just can't help yourself sometimes. You just have to have something, no matter how out of range it might be. Man, I should really be ending the episode soon. Give me an opportunity to pause and save. Yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it. How it's collecting dust. Tokiro, that's it! Please go borrow that camper for us, please! Does this have anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't have a choice. I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. Yeah, now there's our Yay! So Tomorrow is trip time and I think I, I'll get a moment of relief so I can actually go and go out and yes, save. We have been saving up for summer vacation. <laughs> Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. Yeah. yeah let's let's just see how the how long those riches will last. Oh, we're moving to tomorrow already. Please give me a moment of relief. Oh, oh, come on! This is turning into some kind of coming of age flick. Wait, are you guys and girls actually gonna sleep in that thing together? Exactly. The boys are all sleeping on the roof. Yeah, the girls are gonna be cruel to us as always, but we'll manage somehow. Oh, and I'm very handy with an axe. <laughs> Again with the smile. <laughs> you gotta do. So, about what I asked for. Ah, right. Alice's fault. Here you go. Nice scores, Kichi. Hey, that's important evidence. No nope, breaking it. Got that? So, how was Alice, anyway? She was pretty upfront about the whole heart-changing situation. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. It began with the friend registration. Hmm? Was there anything else? The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. So she didn't actually know anything about the jails or desires? Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. Hmm? What in the hell? And if this thing reaches another 20 minutes, wow, it's gonna be a long episode. I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. But nope. It's, it's a uh, standard commercial version. Yeah, hasn't even a retail done. version. So we got nothing out of this? I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. What do you mean? Snooping performed by the Snoopy someone or someone else? Activity. Yeah, it's someone else, obviously. In general or her Emma usage specifically? So, like... Someone's keeping tabs on her! Mm. That would mean there is still someone out there involved with this incident. And we shall hunt them down the way days. later in the game. Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. <laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Oh, uh, one thing at a time. This isn't our only case to work. I'm sure we'll find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Yeah! Well, I'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll no, we won't. That day with the meetup location. Time to return this phone to And yeah, I the, another thing I didn't mention. There are no deadlines for completing jails in this uh, game. You can enter it and re-enter it on the same day how, well, so many times, the many times you want. And it does not drain time or anything. seems correct. I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkiji said, there's still plenty... So yeah, this game is all around more flexible and jump-in friendly when it comes to how how you can manage your time and progress. Check out your wheels. Ooh, our van is here. Let's go check it out. Yo. Ah, look at it. It's the same one in the title screen, of course, and it's amazing. Whoa. 
beautiful. Oh, these aren't voiced. It's awesome. No, we won't. Well, we'll get close one time, I won't spoil it, because it's just so fun. All of you who have played the game know what I'm talking about. But, yeah. Are those owls in the game, or am I hearing them out in the wind? No, they're in the game. They sound so realistic. No, no, those are not owls, what am I saying? Doves. I was thinking of doves. It's currently 9.42 in my time zone. There won't be an owl here at all. Finally, yes! Text message. Yeah, yeah, I'll be ready in the next episode because I am saving up and calling it an episode here. Next time we'll be starting our Phantom Thief reformation journey and we'll be journeying to the next, uh, the, the location of the next jail. And until then, I thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more visual clips and updates. Comment, like, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my Patreon when you got the time. Maybe drop a few donations if you feel like it, of course. And as usual, I'll upload the next part whenever I can. So see you all and have a good day. Peace.